Imagine a new world of epic adventure, exploration, and discovery. Enter the innovative, immersive, and magical world of Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy. Jack and Daxter started off as uh, the game that we all wanted to see for a next generation console. We had never really explored free roaming, we had never explored giant environments, we had never explored anywhere near the detail that we knew that we could get on the PlayStation 2. We just kind of went through a process of, as gamers, what would we want? And then what more can we produce beyond even the gamers' expectations? Building the, the world for Jack and Daxter was a huge challenge. I mean, you got programming, you got art, you got design. Integrating all that, into a game that's still a gamer's game has been really satisfying and fun. In development for nearly three years, Jack and Daxter The Precursor Legacy is the first new venture from Naughty Dog, the creators of the acclaimed Crash Bandicoot series. With a larger team of programmers, artists, and animators, and the most accomplished and accredited game designers on board, Naughty Dog takes adventure gaming to an entirely new level. When the PlayStation 2 specs were announced and we started working with it, we realized that we really had capabilities beyond anything we had ever worked with as a team. In Jack and Daxter's case, that means uh, a major, major technology push to really try to use the 10 or 20 million polygons a second that the PlayStation 2 is capable of. Jack is the main character of our game. He's the hero. He's the everyman. <laughs> I, I don't know, he's a cool guy. Daxter's Jack's best friend, and from the very beginning, you realize this is an extremely annoying character in a very good way. Woo! Baby, it's your breath. Daxter actually falls into a vat of dark eco, which is kind of a primordial ooze. The result is that Daxter turns into an otzel, which is kind of half otter, half weasel. So they have to go on a long journey to find the only person who does know how to turn Daxter back into that friend that Jack has been with so long. We're really trying to, to push beyond the norm of the action platform genre. We're trying to go in directions that people haven't gone in or go beyond where people have done. What makes a title stand out is the production quality, the production values. And you have to have better lighting than everybody else. You have to have better animation than everybody else. It's about making it look as good as possible. What we've got here is actually the full world, always there, all the time, and you can go anywhere with no load times, no cuts. It's free roaming, it really is. It's like you're in the world. You want it to be a big world, but you want it to be a fun world. So you've got to have a lot of interactions along the way. You've got to have a lot of experiences that will intrigue the player along the way. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. It's a very immersive experience, and that's what always has drawn the people within this company to this industry, is the, the immersive quality of it. Animation has always been a big part of Naughty Dog games, so we created this system for Jack and Daxter, which blends uh, animation frames and creates new animation frames in order to like lend the characters real fluidity and smoothness. His run can go right into a kick, and there's no pop or click, and it just is seamlessly smooth. We're looking for impact that couldn't possibly be achieved through conventional means like motion capture. We want to see the character jump and stretch to twice as high, or if he's punching, we want to see that fist be twice as big as it normally is. Because now that we're working with the PS2, we're able to do a lot of things we couldn't do with the lighting that we did in the previous games that we've done. We can have hundreds and hundreds of lights in our scenes, but we then are also able to then have that evolve. Now we've actually achieved the, what we always wanted to do, which is having the, the stages, the background cycle through a real time of day. If you stick around the village for about 24 minutes, you would see that you would go from sunrise to afternoon, to sunset, to night, and we also threw in an extra green sun to give us a green sunrise. Hello! Over the 15 or so years that Naughty Dog's been making games, we've really learned that fun sells. Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> So we both wanted to raise the feeling that Jack and Daxter was more than a kid game. But at the same time, we wanted to keep a little slapstick in there, wanted to keep a little humor in there. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? 
because it's killing me. Daxter does a lot of butt shaking. I'm absolutely convinced that having butt shaking in a game is vital. Introducing a cast of vibrant characters, innovative design and animation, fresh new gameplay mechanics, and unprecedented technology and graphics, Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy takes you on the most engaging and immersive adventure ever. Almost three years of, of work has gone into this with a huge team of programmers and artists. This has been a lot of work by a lot of very talented people. We've worked a lot of hours, we worked really hard, we put a lot of our you know, heart and soul into this product. We really want Jack and Dexter to be an epic, epic title, something that's really remembered for years to come. I'm just amazed at what we were able to put together. Uh, the animation is so expressive. I don't think there's ever been a game that had that amount of BAM. Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, paves the way in next generation gaming, delivering well beyond the expected and celebrates the future of interactive entertainment. You know what they say about people with big ears.